Hi, this is the 1000 Scenes Project. I'm Morgan, and improviser number 132 of 1000 is Pamela Nash. Hi, Pamela. Hi. Thanks for doing this. Uh, our <laughs> suggestion, of course, of course. Our suggestion is amazed. A M A Z E D. Amazed. I really appreciate when you spell out really hard words for me. It, it just takes the pressure off, you know, in our communication. Um, yeah, I hope I'm not being insulting. Um, no, no, no. Not at all. I mean, it's when you correct my grammar, that's insulting. But when you spell out a word that I don't understand, totally different story. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Sorry. I, uh, I, I'm a bit of a wordsmith, so uh, there are certain words that kind of push my buttons. And totally is one of them, actually. Yeah, I, I, I felt that I threw you off a little bit, which... Oh, don't worry about it. I know that I can be a stickler for grammar, and we're just having a casual conversation now, you know, one neighbor to another, so uh, I'm going to relax my sensibilities. Ugh. You know, I've been feeling like I'm kind of behind the eight ball in this whole neighbor situation. I mean, I never, like, had to bail you out when your trash can went rolling down the hill, so, like, I kind of owe you... <laughs> Something. Oh, don't worry about it. It's it's a minor thing. I mean, it is the second time I've had to retrieve your trash cans for you, but um, I know, and it's that that like so when you said like, do I have to spell it out for you how to put the little brake on the wheels? Like, honestly, yeah, yeah, you do. Really? You okay? Well, here, let, I'll, let me let me show you. Just, yeah. Okay. You're not just doing this to be. Annoying. I didn't know you found me annoying. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's just I thought maybe you were asking me to show you how to do this incredibly simple thing because you knew that it would annoy me. But you really do need to know how to do this incredibly simple thing. You need to be taught how to do it. No, you can just let me take my chances. And if the wind blows my trash can down the hill again, you can just go get it. Okay. Oh no. I'm so, okay. I didn't. Uh, I didn't mean to enrage you. You don't need to be passive aggressive. I just. Uh, I just wasn't sure whether you were being annoying on purpose or not. It's I would, fairly, I fairly to, simple I to, mechanism. I, I, I was trying to thank you. I was trying to thank you for doing that and tell you like that I like totally owed you for like helping me. Oh. And, like, okay. You're like totally like, just like, I don't know, like over it. Over it? Yes, I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, so you just, uh, down here at the bottom of the, of the can, it's got this little rubber stopper, and you just, uh, so you're, are, are you going to intentionally let them go down the hill now that I've showed you, just as a sort of middle finger to, to me? <laughs> is that what this plan is? I... <laughs> By the way, I, uh, I went to the city planner's office, and, uh, the driveway does impinge on my property. So I was right about that. And I just want you to know that it will not stand. And I know that it was that way before you bought the property, but I know that you're part of the problem and not part of the solution. Uh, I never owned a property before, so I don't know a lot of stuff about property management, like mm -hmm. trash. Okay, so this is your thing. This is your thing. You pretend to be innocent and just asking for help and not knowledgeable about things as a cover for your devious nature. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> I I don't really feel like I have a devious nature. I feel like, you know... We all have devious natures. Human beings are evil at their core. Like... My grandmother is so sweet. She is so not evil. Like, there's a lot of people in the world that don't actually have evil bones in their body. How old is your grandmother? My grandmother's 82. Okay, well, then she's almost certainly a racist. No, she's an Italian. Yeah, well, that's even... Oh, how she feel about Mussolini? Uh, she didn't know Mussolini. <laughs> well, maybe not personally, but I bet she had a picture of him on the wall at some point. No, but she did once have a picture of Cardinal Spellman. Okay. The Catholic Church. There we go. Again, 
that there's a whole thing like a saying not an evil bone in their body like there's that that's a saying because some people are just really like good and good like runs in my family oh wow are you really in denial aren't you you maybe don't even realize what a horrible person you are <laughs> do you just, honestly think people's bones control whether they're oh dear oh dear have you not heard the expression, like, not a mean bone in her body? I have heard many expressions that make no sense and have no bearing on reality, yes. So, and I've heard that expression, yes. Okay. But it's not yeah. an accurate expression because your grandmother is evil to the core, and therefore I suppose her bones are evil as well. Well, how about her veins, which are running with the milk of human kindness? The milk of human is that how you refer to racial purity? Is that some sort of disgusting the milk of human kindness? What is her her blood milkier than other? You know what? I know we're neighbors and I know that we have to be cordial on some level, but try not to be out of your house when I'm out of my house. I uh, This was a nice neighborhood before you moved here. And by nice I mean evil to the core, but with a with a veneer of niceness. I just, like, don't even understand where this is all coming from. I mean, I was just trying to, like, pay you back for the couple of times that you had to retrieve the trash can thing, which was so nice of you, and I so appreciate it. Do you <laughs> need me to say it slowly? <laughs> like... You are the Antichrist. <laughs> That's not possible, because I'm... A-N-T-I dash C-H... R I S T, anti Christ. Yeah, uh, see, it, it's better when you spell out stuff I already don't know. I know what that is. It means that you're against Christ, and I'm totally not against him. So. <laughs> oh, so you're a Christian? So you didn't teach me anything there. Um, Thanks for the crusades, by the way. Those, yeah, those you're great. welcome. I, I was going to thank you. You said you're welcome for the Crusades. You accepted me thanking you for the Crusades, and therefore you're in favor of the Crusades proactively. Well, it's, you know, it's like when a serial killer is caught and they go to the neighbors, and the neighbors are like, oh, you're such a nice guy. You seem like such a nice, quiet guy. I mean, his garbage cans rolled down the hill a couple of times, but he seemed like such a nice guy. But you just said... Thank you, and you're supposed to say you're welcome. Sarcastically, I was sarcastically thanking you for the Crusades because you revealed that you're a Christian. Yeah, I'm part of polite society. Are you not part? Of, I feel like you're not part of polite society. It's exhausting society. speaking to you. I have to explain everything that I say. I do know. you speak English? I do, but like I was saying before, it's just very helpful for me if you kind of like paratranslate. Look, I. I have a whole room full of puppies that I was in the middle of beating. I need to get back to beating the puppies. See, now that's just rude. What's rude? Beating puppies, that's rude. That, that's not polite. It's oh, like, oh, cultural know. imperialism. That's great. Well, I don't know what they do with puppies where you come from, but where I come from, we, we slap them around. So thank you for your judgment and your neighborly good cheer. You know what? I, I, I don't think I want a man like you handling my trash cans. Well, I prefer not to handle the trash cans. I hope you learned from that little lesson I gave you just then. I could well, repeat it again slower if you need me to. No, I think I think we've settled it. You are not to touch my trash cans ever again. You are uh, look, forbidden. look at your body language right now. You're just you're you're just coiled up like a spring ready to pounce and pluck my eyes out and eat them. Because I don't want your puppy killing hands on my trash. Okay, well you've made a ju you know, you've made a, a, a judgment about me and my culture and you decided to punish me with physical violence. And that's not the way that I that's not the way that I roll. Are you familiar with that expression? Not, you know, like roll the like garbage cans down a hill. That's not yeah. how I roll down the hill. I, I was thinking because, you know, of your, your, your body shape being kind of, you know, rotund that you were thinking like rolling, but either oh, okay. way. okay, no, I accept that. I uh, do have a yeah. body shape, yes. <laughs> um, So, oh, that's sign language for thank you. Um, but I think oh, sign language? What are you saying? Saying that I don't have the power to hear things? If I could just make That's a actually, that's a pretty good dig. I haven't thought of that one. To start using sign language with someone, implying that they're incapable of actually hearing you. I, that's nice. That's a good, I, okay. You're, you're smarter than I thought. If that's I could nice just dig. 
maybe just a little like we we don't get each other. <laughs> thank God. You know. But not the not God. God, just thank God as an expression. Yeah, we don't we don't get each other. Is that more sign language? Nice. Yeah, just work it in there subtly. No, that's not a real sign you're language. A, you're an enigma. You're an interesting one. I, you know, I keep underestimating you and thinking that you're worthless, but there might be something there. You know, enigma is a word I would benefit from you spelling out. But no, you spell out antichrist, which I already know. This is all very complicated. Well, it, I have a newsletter that I put out and I put under everyone's door once a week, so I will, I'll try to address some of this in the community newsletter. You had a newsletter and you wouldn't even put it under my door? No, you hadn't earned the right yet. But now I see that there's a little, there's a little something there. You know, you're not entirely subhuman. You might be worthy of communicating with on some level. You know, I can't just, I can't just make photocopies of endless amounts of the newsletter. I have to conserve. But uh, expect to get one this week. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So I was out. Now I'm in. Uh, don't, don't. You know, don't overstress. Don't overstate your position. Okay. Well, thank you for for that much. Maybe I'll. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're very welcome. See, that was beautifully polite. See, I I think we're gonna get along great. Yeah, or at least not not murder each other. I think that's that's only oh, yeah. true for for now. Yes. I wouldn't like that one bit. I mean, I only get my nails done twice a week. If I had to murder somebody, it would just screw up my schedule. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah, implying that you. No, that's good. Okay. Well, there's something we can work with there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, oh, the puppies. Uh, silly me. <laughs> Time flies when you're interacting. So. Yeah. Oh, more of the sign language thing. That's that's uh, that's clever. I like that. Blackout. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pamela. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I wish you were my neighbor in real life. Oh, do you? <laughs> I. I <laughs> I I hate to know uh, what your real neighbor is like if that's the case. <laughs> oh, my real neighbor is like super nosy and into like everybody's business and like walks her dog and reports on what everybody else is doing. It's awful. It's a tr it's a traditional uh, neighbor occupation, I guess. Yeah, so I have one of those. Oh well, uh, well hopefully she's not watching this video now. No, um, she's probably out walking her dog looking for for bits of gossip and <laughs> next to who. <laughs> Uh, well, I hope she's enjoying herself either way. Um, is there anything that I can plug for you in the description of this video? Oh, sure. Um, I would like to talk about my website. Um, it is, I, I should have got a better name for it. It's the number 4, A-N-D, the number 9, productions.com. Okay. Productions.com, that's my website. And I'm at the number 4, A-N-D, 9, on Twitter. And I'm just chilling right now, but I'm going to be up in New York at some point pitching a show that I already pitched to a theater, and they switched artistic directors, and I'm repitching. That'll happen, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, I uh, hope to see that uh, when it's definitely snapped up this time, and I'll put links <laughs> to those things in the uh, description of the video. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, and thanks so much for doing this. Have no a great problem. evening. You too. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.